Doing guys, long time no see. So I'm back out uh, doing the Galloway Forest, um, meeting Colin Bugsy. Yeah, I think Sean's coming as well. Um, so hi, first time I've been in a while to be honest. Life's just got on the road recently, been too busy, work and family things, stuff like that. Yeah, I'll no bore you with the details. But uh, hi, back out. So set up for the night, show you where we're at. So forest. I've brought the Pomley Hex Plus, it's to get really cold tonight, so as you can see, there's it's been snowing a wee bit, just Colin set up over there. So Colin's here, show you my setup for the night. Got a couple of new bits and pieces. There's a bold Colin. Evening. <laughs> so, we'll start off, sleeping system. So, trying this new bag. Uh, got this in a sale. So this is Hagerloft's new winter bag. It's good up to minus 26. So it's no down, it's a, a man-made man -made polyester down. So apparently it's really good. Underneath that, I have got the Amok winter mat cot bed and my new gadget. Let you have a look for cooking. So, this is the new stove. So, we've got a, a oven with two shelves inside this one. So, you've got space for three pots on the top. My wee, <laughs> <pizza time. laughs> my wee fan at the side there, just to blow the heat around in the tent. So, that was a wish, believe it or not, four pounds. Works perfect and you can actually feel it. You can actually feel it blowing the heat off. It's a deal, it's a steal. So tonight we're going to be cooking a wee bit of a bottle of wine probably. Just chill out here for about three days or something like that. We'll see how it goes. Maybe two. We'll see. But hi, good to be back. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Hope you have a prosperous New Year. And I'll bring you back in a wee bit. Hey guys, so we're just sitting in a hot tent. It's raining outside. Marco's turned up. Oh well, yeah. Colin, both we're just sitting chilling it. So I'll get some food on shortly. I'm starving. But it's good to get back out. It's good to be out. I think outside no box required. Right, so it's lashing down outside. We've got the stove on, the wee fan. There's Marco sitting enjoying the heat. The bowl gin. Rusty toasty. Get your crocs. Bring on your bring. <laughs> Get your crocs out for the boys. Get your crocs out for the boys. <laughs> Bye, Rusty. Chilling back on my bed here. Guys are sitting there, so we're going to get a bit of food shortly. Waiting a couple of hours turning up. So, bring you back in a bit, guys. We're going to cook a nice curry. We've got some nice cake and stuff, so stay tuned. <laughs> and we'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, it's freezing cold outside, pissing our rain. I don't know if you can hear it on the tent. Oh, we are sitting here, we've got the fan on. Stove seated up, oven's at 250 degrees. Marco's sitting like it's summer. <laughs> like he always does. Where's <laughs> <laughs> <Use> your crocs? <laughs> yeah, you're talking to for the boys. Yeah, you're crocs. Right, we're just sitting here like rusting hot. That wee fan, honestly I bought this thing for like, I think it was £4.89 delivered and it blows the heat out for the, it works off the heat of the stove and it just blows the heat out right, right across the tent, brilliant, great wee bit of kit so if you fancy one of them, I'll, I'll come out there, I'll actually leave a wee link for that uh, down in the description, so if you fancy one of them, game changer, honestly it's blowing the heat right across the tent you can actually, you can feel it on your hand, if you hold your hand up at the side of the tent you can actually feel the heat blowing across, so definitely, definitely worth buying There's a bold Bugsy arrived. Oh, thank you very much, Bugsy. I've got other stuff in the van, too, but this is just So that's Bugsy arrived as well, so that's four years. We're just missing Shawnee boy. I believe he's on his way. I believe he's on his way. For the curry, is it ready? 
Right guys, so the first wee bit of food tonight, pizza's in the oven, absolutely perfect. It's like Colin eating one. You know Colin likes a, likes a wee skin. Right guys, first into the equation in here, in my little tinfoil wrap, we have some cassia bark and some cloves, so they go straight into the hot oil. What we'll do is fry them up first, flavour the oil, gives you that smoky taste. Then we'll add in my spice mix that I've already prepared. This has got paprika, uh, coriander powder, garam masala, hot madras powder, um, cumin powder, turmeric, uh, Jesus, I can't even remember, all, um, spice mix, basala, um, and a little bit of Chinese spice spice. So that's the spice mix ready up to make the... Um, base for the curry, we've got the garlic, onions, chilies. check this out, this is my leftover roast beef from yesterday's dinner, so this was a giant sun <laughs> <sun> <laughs> steak, <laughs> so that's all going in as well, so it's a beef curry tonight guys, so I'll bring you back once we start adding some of the ingredients. Oh yeah. The usual for my camping, we've got a wee curry on the go, we're having a South Indian chilli garlic, but with sirloin, so I, I made a big massive roast yesterday and it's like, there's like tons of it left, I didn't even use half it so we're going to fire that in there we've got the onions, the cassia bark, the oil, the cloves and the star anise in there just now and then we're going to put in the spice mix and all the other goodies, garlic and... <laughs> can't wait Hey guys, time for a good squidgy garlic, so we're going for the full 10 cloves Oh, and about it Lovely jubbly like hey guys, the garlic's in, 30 seconds, and we'll add the spices, and then we'll start to add some tomatoes and make this sauce up. Right guys, in with the spice mix, so this will make it into a masala, and then we'll add some tomatoes, 30 seconds, cook that off, and then we'll add the tomatoes. And yes, that's the tomatoes in guys, masala's been cooked, just need to add the beef, we'll get that in shortly, but we'll just let this bubble away for about 10-15 minutes, and then we'll get sorted with the rice and the naan breads in the oven. Next! And with this 21 age sirloin steak, all diced up beautifully. It's been cooked medium rare, so I'll cook through in the sauce and oof, and about it. A bit of peel of rice, naan breads, that'll do it nicely. <coughs> right, that's us in a bit of curry. <coughs> Bugsy hips. Oh, oh. <laughs> you burping there, mate? Hiccups? <laughs> Marco in about it. Amazing. And you'll no believe it, we're all eating. And fucking Colin Russell's now, oh, here he's back with his ball look. Please sir, can, please sir, can I have some more? Please sir, can I have some more? Right. Well, morning guys. It's like 8 o'clock. Hey, I'm up, Colin's up. Marco's up. I slept like a log. Great sleep. Yeah, that Huggerloff's bag. What do you say, man? It's as good as, it's as good as my rab bag. I was roasting. Lovely warm sleep. That's the kettle on. I think we'll get a bit of breakfast, get some bacon and egg on the go. Yeah, Bugs is away, yeah, but he's coming back. So a cup of tea time, bit of breakfast on. I think we're going to stay three nights, so should be good. Oh, what a sleep, man! I slept like a log. Actually, everybody was sitting in the tent. I lay back on the bed and crashed out, as did Colin on the seat. So that well, was a good night. Oh, a right, cup of tea. Start getting myself together, get changed and stuff like that. And uh, I think I'm going to go for a walk, go for a hike. Right, so that's me up. Had to be washing the river, got changed. Got the stove fired up. So it's now time for a bit of bacon and egg for breakfast. So get that on the go. And then I'm, just, I'm not for a change. It's cooking the night. Uh, check out Sean's channel, Cozy Camper. Uh, I'll leave a wee link to that below. But, uh, yeah, so Sean's apart cooking dinner tonight, so for a change I'm not cooking, which is a good thing. I'll get all my pots and pans and everything washed up the day and get everything put back in my van. Yeah, um, so I, next year. So as you all know, it's been like five or six months where I've actually managed to get out of camping. Uh, family circumstances, things, I'll not go into it, but you know, it's been a... A tough time for our family, put it that way. Um, so we've, uh, I, we've, I've not been out. Um, but last night, it's, it's given me the bug again. I'm 
uh, I need to get back in to some sort of normality so I shall be doing a lot of stuff next year I, um, I've ordered a tent uh, which I just got an email where it's been dispatched so um, I'll do a wee video on that so I went for the Robins Starlight 2 uh, wind tested up to 130 mile an hour I think it is uh, 500 uh, 5000 hydrostatic head um, so it's a pretty decent tent um, I've seen a few, a few folk using it so apparently it's really really good for wind conditions and stuff like that so my plan next year is um, to get up some of the uh, do some on rows, um, get a lot of some summit camps and maybe a couple of distance walks in as well. Yeah, uh, I need to get myself back fit and back out. So that's the plan for next year, guys. So stay tuned. You'll see the uh, you'll see the videos. I'll try and get a bit of your content as well, which I've, I've not done. I've kind of neglected it. Um, just not at the time. But 2022 big plans so I've got a uh, the tent or bird so you've seen the new bag that I've been using uh, I actually think I might use that a bit it's, pr it's probably on par with the rab bag to be honest and but it packs down slightly smaller so uh, that's the plan that's why I, I bought a good another bag and uh, the tent uh, my next thing is a rucksack so comment below guys rucksacks I'm looking for a rucksack for like two or three day camping trips um, what's your favourite bag? Uh, what bag are you using just now? Drop that in the comments below and I'll have a look. Um, it's always good to get somebody else's feedback on how good the stuff is. So leave that below, guys, and uh, bring you back when I get the breakfast on. Ah, nice. That's the bacon on. So. Get that cooked up, got a bit of eggs, got some beans and stuff like that as well. I think Sean's got sausage and black pudding and tattie scones and stuff, so we're just going to fire it all together, have a nice wee brekkie, and then, I don't know, maybe go for a walk, We wander. And then, uh, I believe Bugs is coming back, so, and then Colin's away, uh, he's got his kids, so he's coming back the day after. So he's taking the kids out, so, we'll, uh, I think we'll still be here, but and I'll be honest, but this is literally right next to the car. There's no, well, you can imagine hiking in with that. <laughs> so it's literally just a car camp, but brilliant just to get out. Great fun, enjoy yourself. And then, uh, I don't know, lunch. Maybe cook some pizzas. I cooked some pizzas in the oven last night, so I'll uh, maybe have a wee pizza for lunch. <sighs> I'm actually still shattered. In fact, I'm going to get another cup of tea on. We wander into Shawnee Boy's tent here. I can smell yeah, sausages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, black pudding, link, slice. I've got bacon on the go, eggs. And this is Sean's new stove. <clears throat> With a bushcraft telly. <laughs> belter, absolute belter of stove. Somebody needs to invent smell of vision, man. There's nothing better than a smell of bacon cooking as a sorry for these are vegans or stuff like that, but uh, in fact my my mate's a vegetarian and that's the one thing he says that he misses and he still loves the smell of bacon cooking. Well, let's get this fried up and I like my nice nice and crispy. How do you like your bacon? Some some folk like it come with that little fatty and all that and eat the fat. Oh my god. I can't do it. Mine has to be well well cooked. So just waiting on that. Sean's got some rolls up there. He's got sausage and that on, black pudding. So I'll get cook the bacon and eggs. Yeah, we'll have a bit of breakfast. Yeah, that's the bacon nearly done. Eggs are in. So get this uh, served up shortly. Just oh, I'm so shattered this morning. Right, once the eggs are done, we'll get a wee scran and then see what see what happens with the rest of the day. 
said we'll go up to Sean's tent, we've cooked the bacon and eggs, Sean's got the sausage and black pudding out together, we're getting a roll, so we're just going to dig in and have our breakfast. Pizza time. Oh, Jesus, so I fell asleep there guys, <laughs> in the afternoon. Sat back in the tent with the fire on, just crashed out, slept for about three hours. So, going to get some fresh coffee on the go with a wee grinder, some LA Classico beans, and my wee percolator. So I'll get that, some beans in that and get it ground up. Right guys, so night two, just me and Sean left, last man standing, check out Sean's channel, channel as well guys, the Cozy Camper, give him a wee like and a sub, hit him up, so what are you making tonight there Sean? A little beef stew, oh, nice. nice jointy brisket there, oh, lovely. and then uh, it looks like all the trimmings to go with it there and all that, I can see turnip, carrots, tatties, is that par bit parsnip as well yeah, there, is that? Oh. Should be nice, looking forward to this. So, nice stew. We've taken the, the lid off the fire there, so they're getting direct heat. But we're going to cook outside, but I'll be honest with you, it is non stop rain the whole day today. So, ended up coming back to the tent, fell asleep. So, that's us just getting re scran now. Might even have a wee glass of wine with that. <laughs> oh, lovely. Well, oh, guys, so Sean's got all the veg prepped, everything's all chopped up. Oh, look at a big bit of brisket, man. Lovely, jubbly. Oh, fucking salt bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to, you just know that's going to be good, eh? Oh, tidy. So, I'll probably have that, probably take a good hour or so, a couple of hours to cook. In the meantime, Sean and I are having a wee side up. Cheers, Sean. Cheers, mate. Lovely, jubbly. Right, that's uh, the brisket in, we've added water. Well, I have no, Sean has, next, and we all these bad boys, the goodness. Tatties, turnip, carrot, parsnip, oh yes. You just know that's going to be tremendous, eh? Oof, and then the beef stock will go in, splash of red wine. These stoves, man, you can cook anything that you would cook in the house. Lovely. So there we go, there's Sean's uh, beef stew on the go. Just adding the stock now and then just, oh, honestly you should smell this, it smells amazing. I'll just let it reduce for a wee while, a good couple of hours cooking time, and that'll be tremendous. Yeah, that beef been in a good hour, man, look at that. Oh, Sean just cut it up now, put it back in. Oof, once that thickens up, I'll tell you, I wish, honestly, smell a vision, I wish it was a thing, man, it's tremendous. Looking forward to this. Right guys, Sean's beef stew is looking that tremendous, but you know what it's missing? At least we splash of red wine. <sighs> Lovely jovely. Right guys, we've sat and had a couple of beers, we're just chilling it. Eh, uh, Bugsy's not turned up. Bugsy, where are you? Where are you mate? <laughs> uh, Bugsy was away getting his motor fixed, so no doubt he's probably had, maybe had an issue or whatever, but... <coughs> Check this out. Unveiling of the stew. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, check that out, man. Give that a star, Sean, so they can see it, man. Oof. Mind check out Sean's channel, mate. Hey, guys, Cozy Camper. Look at that. 
whoosh, turn up, car up, parsnip, beef, beef stock, wow, you know that's going to be good. So I think we're going to file a couple of rolls in the oven to heat them up to soak up the juices. But off, oh, I'll bring you back when that bit's dished out. Guys, so that's Sean, oh, honestly, God, man, I wish you could smell this. Check that out. Oh, now that's a stew. We've got some rolls in the oven there. I'm going to dip up the sauces. Tremendous. Oh, cheers, Sean, that smells brilliant, mate. Cosy hey, camper, check go. him out. Cosy camper, eh? Hey, guys, I'm going to sort that camera out. Oh, no. Anyway. Pfft, Sean stew. Look at that, man. Honestly, that beef just melts in your mouth. Mmm. Mm. That's proper tent. Oh, that's good, mate. Yeah. So good, man. Oh, got me heated up roll in the oven there. Dipping. Oh. Oh. Tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Mm. Colin. Yes. You're going to regret not coming back with Bugsy. <laughs> so Bugsy, so really. fucking good, man. Mm. The beef just melts in your mouth, man. It's tremendous. A wee dippy up roll. Mm -mm -mm. That's good, man. That is good. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. So I've just ate Sean's stew. Oh, what the hell are you doing, man? I'm <laughs> absolutely pagged. Stuffed to the gunnels, man. But, oh, that was amazing. Oh, Bugsy, you wish you came back. I mean, honestly, that's probably one of the best stews I've ever had in my life. That brisket just melted in your mouth. The carrots, the turnip, the tatties, the uh, parsnips, the stock. <laughs> mopped up with a nice roll, man. It was beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So check Sean's channel out, guys. Cozy Camper. Give Sean a wee like, a follow. Thumbs up, uh, and leave a wee comment, what's your favourite camping dinner? What's your favourite thing to eat when you're camping? What's your go-to dinner? Obviously, you can't mean a curry. Sean's is obviously a stew, man. That was <laughs> tremendous. <laughs> right, so comment below. What do you cook when you're camping? I'll get a try. Leave us a wee comment. Tell us what your favourite dish is. Uh, how you cook it. And why don't we get a wee bash? Right, so Sean's away at the tent. I've got a bit of competition here, man. That was absolutely tremendous, man. Honestly, that's a, that stew was better than my granny's. Really, really good. The, uh, honestly, the beef. Look at the state of the hair. The beef was some of the best I've ever tasted, man. Amazing. Proper, like, melt in your mouth. Like your granny used to make. Big chunks of vegetables, big chunks of tatties. Beautiful stock. A bit of red wine in that as well. Poof. Tremendous, man. Absolutely tremendous. And the beef was seasoned perfect. Salt, pepper. Just so good, man. Time for a wee cigarello. I've ate, it's funny, I got a message with somebody saying you shouldn't smoke joints in your videos. This is a Sterling cigarello. See the wee gold band? So, for that guy, it's not a joint, it's a cigarello. <laughs>